Here we have a system with three equations and three unknowns, and our variables here are a, b, and c. So I notice that my c down here looks like it's almost by itself, so let's go ahead and solve for this c, and then use substitution. So when I solve for this c, I'm going to take this negative 5a and this positive 4b, and I'm going to dump them on the right side of the equation, and I can do that as long as I change their signs. So this c will equal positive 5a minus 4b and then minus 19. So here I have this equation and uh, this expression 5a minus 4b minus 19 is equivalent to c. So when I see the variable c in these other two equations I can substitute this 5a minus 4b minus 19 instead. So let's go ahead and do that. So the first equation was negative 2a minus 2b minus 3c, but my c is going to be 5a minus 4b minus 19, and that's going to be equivalent to 20. So let's go ahead and distribute this negative 3 and kind of simplify this business first. And then 19 times 3 is the same as 20 times 3 minus 3, so that'll be a 57 and then my A's can go together, my B's can go together, and I'm going to dump that 57 on the other side, so it'll be a negative 57, so 20 minus 57 will be this negative 37. So first of all, I have a negative 17A plus 10B equals negative 37, and this is going to be an equation that I'm going to come back to here in a moment. Okay, let's go ahead and take the same expression for C and dump it into C, but in the second equation. So 6a minus 6b plus 4c, but c is this right here, and that equals negative 6. Okay, I'll move up here so we have some room to work. Let's go ahead and distribute this 4 through, and then we'll combine like terms. So 6a minus 6b plus 20a minus 16b, and uh, multiplying this by 4, I can just double it twice, so 38 and then 76 equals negative 6 there, and uh, let's combine our a's to get 26a, and our b's to get negative 22b, and then I'm going to add 76 to get a positive 70. Okay, so now I have two equations with two unknown values. I have this guy and this guy. So I've whittled my system down from three equations with three unknown values to two equations with two unknown values. So let's go ahead and I'm going to move it over a little bit. I'm going to rewrite these equations up here at the top. So negative 17a plus 10b equals negative 37. And then 26a minus 22b equals 70. Okay, so I took this guy and this guy and just rewrote them. So now I have a new system. And I'm going to go ahead and solve this system uh, by elimination. So what variable should we go ahead and eliminate? Well, 17 and 26, I know 17 is prime, so if I was to eliminate my A's, I'd be multiplying by 26 and 17, and that's pretty big. Let's look at my B's. Well, I notice they have a greatest common factor of 2, so I don't just have to multiply them together. It looks like uh, the least common multiple of 10 and 22 will be 110. So I could multiply the top equation by 11 and the bottom equation by 5 and uh, that will eliminate my B's, and that seems like a lot easier uh, values to work with. So multiplication by 11 is pretty nice. So 11 times 17, this is going to end up being a negative 187a, and then plus 110b, and then 11 times 37 will be a negative 407. When I run a 5 through here, multiplication by 5 is easy. I'm going to cut it in half and add a 0. So half of 26 is 13, and then add a 0, so 130a minus 110b, and that's going to be 350 there. My b's cancel, which was by design, so my a's will be a negative 57a equals, oh, a negative 57. So that actually came out pretty nicely, so a equals 1. Well, if my value of a is 1, Let's go ahead and dump this back up here. 
So I have a negative 17a, where a is 1, plus 10b equals negative 37. I'm going to add 17 to both sides, and that would eliminate that constant there. So 10b will equal a negative 20. So when I divide by 10, b will equal negative 2. Well, that's not too bad. So I have a as 1 and b as a negative 2. So let's go ahead and plug it back into this expression here because it has already been solved for c so we don't have to do the work again of getting c by itself so c equaled 5a minus 4b minus 19 okay well what was a well, a was 1 and what was b b was negative 2 so let's go ahead and simplify this 5 plus 8 minus 19 that's going to work out to be 13 minus 19, which is negative 6. So we have values here now for C as well as A and B. So I can write my solution as an ordered triplet, A, B, C. We're going to go right in alphabetical order. So A was 1, B was negative 2, and C was negative 6. So this ordered triplet, 1, negative 2, negative 6, is going to be the solution for this system of equations.